solid uh, mid-season break there's been. Unusual for the Premier League. You've played for a while now. Good thing or bad thing? Was it, is it something you would like in the future to be introduced? Or are you missing football? No, it is nice. It's nice to get some sun and have a good pre like a mid-season break. But um, I think football is a big part of like the culture in England at Christmas time, isn't it? So I think people love it and yeah, maybe they miss it a bit, but I don't know. I think maybe if the break was in January, I don't know, it'd be a good thing, yeah. I think it's a year, I think there's a week in January next season, so that would be quite nice, wouldn't they it? They can make it too, it'd be nice, but <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's just, it's just, there's a lot of games, isn't there? So you get fatigued, you get tired, but I mean, that's part of the job. So yeah, I think we love it. So yeah, we can't complain. So after a couple of weeks at home, when this break started, you were itching to get back into it a bit? Yeah, after a week off, you've, you've had enough. You want to get back training and back doing what you love. So yeah, I think, um, yeah, a, a week's enough for sure. But yeah, it's been six weeks without games, so it's going to be, isn't it? So yeah, hopefully there's no World Cups this time of the year again. Do you think it will take time to get back into that groove again after such a break? I know a lot of players have been, our players have been in the World Cup, but for the ones who haven't? Yeah, I think you need games, don't you, to get into the rhythm and, and get to your full fitness. But when there's not games, you can train as hard as you want, but nothing can replicate that, that, that match feeling and Premier League games, especially the intensity. So yeah, maybe it will. It would take a few games to, to get back to the level it was, so yeah, we'll see, but we'll try and get there as quick as possible. Uh, Roberto's been at the club now, well, over two months now. How have you, how has that sort of time gone for you as players? Um, you've obviously got used to his methods. Um, anything about him or what he's done that surprised you in any way? No, I think it's just new, new ideas and new thoughts from, from someone different. Um, I think the, the lads love him and He's honest with everyone, he tells, tells you what he wants from you. Sometimes it's not what you want to hear, but I think he's only doing it for the right, right reasons and he wants to make us a better team and, and better players personally. So, um, yeah, it's been, it was interesting at first, sort of long sessions and getting used to his tactics, but I think we're there now, we're getting close and I think the fans and us together have seen the, the results in the last, last few games we've had. So hopefully we can just keep going and keep playing well and pick up results when we res resume again. Do you feel he's improved you even in a short space of time or is it just not long enough? No, I think in certain ways for sure. Um, I think um, the way we play is slightly different, building up from the back, but we have a lot of possession and I think we've scored, scored quite a few goals in the last few games, so it's exciting and um, yeah, we're looking forward to the last 23 games, whatever it is, yeah. The next game back is Charlton in the Carabao Cup. Obviously, it'll be a difficult night up at, up at uh, the Valley, but potentially that competition is starting to get quite exciting for us, isn't it? Yeah, I think if you look at the draw, there's there's only a couple of the big teams left in it. So, I mean, was it down the last 16? So I think if you get if you beat Charlton, obviously, like you say, it'll be a tough game, but um, it's a chance to get to Wembley. And I think, yeah, we're going to take it really seriously, for sure. You must be one of the few players in the squad who's actually played at Charlton. <laughs> yeah, and no, I always got good honest, memories. Of, yeah, we've got good memories good, of it. Good memories of Charlton. I think it's somewhere. Yeah, I've enjoyed playing there. It's, I think it's like one of those old London grounds that you enjoy playing in, and um, the atmosphere will be good. And I think you'll have a full away crowd for sure. They'll be loud, and yeah, I think it's a exciting game to to start again.